ever wondered why Wales is called the land of castles, <laughs> just have a look at this lot. Each dot represents a site identified on the ground, and these are only the early earthwork castles. It was a frenzy of building that stretched over no more than 150 years. There's something to be seen by the ordinary visitor at most of them. Though one of the best at Tomina Rodwith, which is just north of the Horseshoe Pass beyond Llangothlin, is not in fact Norman. The idea of Mott and Bailey had been picked up by the Welsh and adapted to their needs. Owen Gwyneth ordered this earthwork to be thrown up in 1149. But the buildings that were here, one of Owen's compatriots destroyed a mere eight years later in 1157. Because the castle at Tomina Rodwith suffered from the major weakness of earth and timber castles, it fell to attack by fire. As so many of them did. The bio tapestry shows what happened to one such at Dinan in Brittany. On the left, a surprise attack by cavalry charge. When that fails, two knights set fire to the timber with long torches. When the defenders finally surrender, we see them holding out the keys on the tip of a lance.